Well, hello everyone, it's Nina. Thanks for joining me today for a new video. We're gonna be making this edge-to-edge -edge shaker card today using new products from Simon Says Stamps' Dear Friend release. Now, before I get started into the card project, I wanna tell you about the Simon Says Stamp blog hop that's happening right now. It's a two-day hop, and today is day one. I'm participating in the hop along with many other designers. And throughout the hop, you can have a chance to win a $25 gift card over at simonsysstamp.com. So all you have to do to enter to win is to leave a comment on my blog. There's a link below in the video description if you're watching this on YouTube. So I hope you'll head on over there and enter for a chance to win. Let's create today's card. We're using the Painted Rainbow Cling Stamp from Simon Says Stamp. This is a building cling stamp, so I'm gonna show you how this works. I'm going to utilize the stamp and stencil mat from Simon Says Stamp to hold my paper in place while I'm working so that way it doesn't shift. I wanna be able to use this in the center of my Misty and because I'm not utilizing the corner, I want something sticky to hold it in place. So to build the rainbow, I'm going to start first with one of the corners. I'm gonna use the bottom corner to start. You could use the top, doesn't matter. But I'm going to line up my stamp and get up with peony ink and then stamp it onto my card. Now this card panel is a little bit smaller than a five by seven card. That's the size card that I'm going to be creating today. And then throughout all of the stamping, before I remove the stamp that I just used, I'm going to take the next part of the rainbow and butt it up against the first stamp that I used. So that way I know the exact placement that I need for the next stamp. And I'll repeat this for every single stamping of all of the rainbow stripes. So I used violet for the purple color and ocean for the blue. And for the green, I chose Sprout, which is one of my absolute favorite greens. I love how bright and cheery it is. And because we have that stamp and stencil mat holding our paper in place, I always know that this is in the exact same spot every time I go to stamp. So my stamps are going to be positioned perfectly because of the fact that I'm using the previous stamp as my guide for the placement. And because my paper's not moving, everything is staying exactly where it needs to be. I finished up with Sunbeam, Sherbert, and Cherry for those final three colors. To remove my paper from the stamp and stencil mat, I'll just fold it in half so that way I can gently peel off the paper. And now we're ready to go to turn this into a card. I'm going to take some of these new sentiment strips from Simon and I'm going to take the one that says, hello, my sweet friend. But I'm actually gonna use a die to complete the sentiment. So I'm actually gonna cut off the word hello here. And so now the sentiment just reads my sweet friend because I'm going to use this new fancy hello die for the hello greeting. I actually designed this die along with the fancy thanks that's also part of the release. And I'm going to use some of Simon Says Stamp's Lux Glitter cardstock to cut the hello out. So my sentiment is going to get popped up onto my card. I'm going to use a layer of white cardstock behind the greeting just to give it that extra bit of dimension. And I just use some dots of liquid glue to attach that together. I will also glue that down onto the shadow layer, which will give it some separation from the background. My background is gonna get covered with some terrific tape along all four edges. This is because I'm making an edge to edge shaker card. So I need something to adhere my plastic that I'm going to wrap around the background panel with. I need that to be adhered onto this tape. So I'm going to remove the release paper from three sides only. So that way I can start folding my plastic onto that adhesive and start forming my pocket. Because we're doing this on all three sides, we will have an opening on that fourth edge, which is where we can fill it up with our beautiful sequins. I also cut off any excess that might be hanging off the corners, just so that way it gets out of the way. So I'm going to fill up this shaker pocket with some icy rainbow sequins from Studio Katia. And I also pulled in some small three millimeter sequins too, to add just a little bit of clear sparkle. And this fills up the shaker really nicely. I'm going to remove that last bit of release paper and then fold my final edge into that adhesive to close all the sequins in place. I'll cut off again any excess that's hanging off the edges and then give it a really good shake to get those sequins all mixed up. I love how these colors paired so well with the ink colors that I chose. This icy rainbow mix is so much fun. Here's where I'm going to pop up my sentiment onto my card. I'm going to use foam tape to attach the word hello, and then I'll use thin 3D foam squares in black to attach my smaller greeting. By using the thin 3D foam squares, it's not as dimensional as the hello, which stands out a little bit more. 
I love how this is turning out, but I wanted to pop this up onto my five by seven card. So I'm taking my Tim Holtz rotary trimmer and some of Simon Says Stamps Fun Foam, also new from the release, and I'm going to cut the fun foam down so that way it's a little bit smaller than my card panel. Then I'll put terrific tape onto the fun foam so that way I'll have some nice adhesive that I can use to attach this down onto my shaker panel. This is going to give some nice sturdy dimension onto my project. It'll be completely solid and give this a really nice sturdy base. I'll put more tape on the back side of that fun foam so that way it can adhere it onto my 5x7 card which I made from some Simon Says Stamp white cardstock. I love how this turned out. It is so bright and happy and the Lux Glitter cardstock that we used to make the sentiment pairs so well with the sparkles of the clear sequins and the beautiful magical icy rainbow sequin mix matched so well with the ink colors I chose. All together, this card makes a very cohesive, sparkly, and beautiful rainbow finish, and I love it. I hope you enjoyed this project. Again, don't forget to stop by my blog to participate in the blog hop and see even more inspiration with Simon Says Stamps Dear Friend release. Thanks for joining me today. I will be back soon with more to share, but until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day.